Okay, so we have a swimming pool that's 12 meters long, 6 meters wide, 1 meter deep at the shallow end, and 3 meters deep at the deep end. Water is being pumped into the pool at a quarter cubic meters per minute, and there's 1 meter of water in the deep end. Well, this is a three-dimensional problem, so let's draw a three-dimensional picture. First things first, get that picture up and running. Okay, so I'm going to try on this, draw semi-straight lines. Okay, so here we have it's 12 meters long, 6 meters wide, and... Okay, so now, ooh, and I have pretty blue too. All right. Whoop, wow, apparently it's a wave pool. <laughs> okay, so I've got a meter in a, uh, a meter of water in the deep end, so one meter of water. Uh, this width, by the way, is three meters. This uh, thickness you can count or depth is also one meter. Okay, and so now the question is, what percent of the of the pool is filled? And so we need to compare volumes. And so it's asking for, in part A, it's asking for the volume of water per volume of the pool, and then multiply it by 100%. So we just say find the volume of the water times the volume, or divided by the volume of the pool, and multiply it by 100%. Okay, so if we want to do this, there's several ways that we could do this. So what we have here is we have a trapezoid with some depth. So if you can think of it that way, um, I've got a trapezoid that has... Uh, a height of 12 meters. So I'm looking at, uh, kind of on the side here, I'm looking at a trapezoid. And I've got a height of 12 meters. I've got uh, base one is one meter. Base two is three meters. Okay, so I've got everything that I need. And the area, the area of the trapezoid is equal to one half the sum of the bases times the height. And for us, this is going to be one half. Uh, one plus three is four times 12. So I've got 48. Half 40 is 24. This is 24 cubic meters. I'm sorry, square meters. Square meters, square meters. Okay, to find the volume of our trapezoid, the volume of our, well, it's kind of a trapezoid solid. Okay, so we have the volume is equal to the base times the height. We've already got this area of the base here. Okay, so we're just going to multiply it by the dimension, the, the thickness dimension here, the six meters. And so we just take our area. 24 meters squared, and we multiply that by our 6 meters. So for that, we get 100 and, uh, 144 cubic meters. That's the volume of the whole thing. That's the pool. Okay, so now let's look at the water, and we're going to use the same technique. The only difference here is we, the water level would have to be up to 2 meters before we'd have to start taking a look at the shallow end. And so all we have is this triangle here that has a base of one meter, and then now we have to figure out, okay, well, how much uh, how much of that 12 meters is it taking up? All right, so we can go ahead and calculate that. So I've got a triangle here, and I've got one meter of water there, and I want to know what is this right here well if it were if it were two meters of water move that into yellow if it were two meters of water i would have a perfect uh 12 meters as its length so since i have one meter 
then according to our similar triangles, I have since I have half of this, then I have half of this. And so I have six meters. That's how I get the height on that. And so my area is equal to one half base times height, which is equal to one half times one times six, which is three. And so my volume of water is equal to my area of water, which is three, times the the effective depth, or this this kind of uh, uh, backwards flowing, because this water is all over the bottom here, and so that's six okay. meters. So we have three square meters times six meters for a total of eighteen cubic meters. Part A asks, what is our uh, percentage of water? And I said, we just take our volume of water, and let me switch to green here. We take our volume of water, which is 18 meters cubed, and we divide it by the volume of the pool, which is 144 meters cubed, and we multiply that by 100%. Because now I don't, I don't really have a calculator on me, so this is going to be uh, 3 over 24, which is 1 over 8, 1 over 8, which when you multiply that by 100%, is going to give you 12.5%. And there's our percentage. All right, in part B, it's asking you for at what rate is the water level rising? And here you kind of have to employ a little bit of a trick. At this particular moment, remember that what I called the height before, the six meters, which was actually the kind of the width of the water up here. Okay. That is six times what this measurement is. And so I kind of have to redraw this um, uh, lest we, we be confused. And so he, this is our water. I'm going to fill this in with blue just to signify, hey, this is water. Okay, so this is all that's happening right now. We have a little faucet here. And water's coming out. Yep. Okay, so so this is filling. Uh, your height here is equal to one meter. Your base is equal to six meters. At this particular moment, your base is equal to six times your height. Okay. Now we have a we have a volume input. We are inputting one quarter cubic meters per minute. All right, so we've got our volume is equal to one half times the base times the height. This is the area of that triangle times six meters. That's how far back this goes. And that's kind of the, the depth, I guess, if you're looking at it straight on. And so this is the depth. Well, that means that it's one half now we're looking for the height, how fast the height changed. So we want everything in terms of height. So wherever you see a B, put a 6H. Okay, and we have a height. Now the depth doesn't change. That, that six foot width of the, on the pool, that doesn't change. And so that's just constant at six. And that's V. So let's rewrite this then. This is six times six is 36 times one half is 18. So we get 18H squared. So now we can go ahead and take the derivative because that's what really we really have is the rate at which the volume is is uh, increasing, and that's equal to the derivative of that, which is 36 uh, h d h d t. You'll notice the d h d t is the rate at which the height is increasing. Okay, so we want to solve that to so solve for d h d t dh dt. And when we do that, we get uh, dv dt times 1 over 36h is equal to dh dt. dv dt is 1 quarter. So just substituting in, we have 1 quarter time, or times 1 over 36, and this is times 1 is equal to, and now this is just 1 over 4 times 36, 
but 4 times 36 is 144. And so you get 1 over 144, and this is meters per minute, is, D, is dh dt. Okay, again, there are some tricks. The trick here is to know that the base is, or, or this, um, this length here on the water line, kind of going along the length of the pool, that 12 meter length of the pool, uh, that is six meters at that point. It's six times what the height is. And so, because we're only considering it at that point. Now, if this were to change, then it would be a, a different ratio. And then we'd have to use a slightly different ratio for this. And that's fine. We can do that. So that's how you conquer this problem.